Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the narco states of West Africa, and we're fortunate to have with us uh, Dr. Leonard Madhu to talk about uh, the states in West Africa that are heavily involved in international drug uh, movements. And of course, uh, Dr. Madhu, let me uh, welcome you to the show this morning. Thank you. And to uh, tell you again how delighted we are to have you here. And of course, you've been with us on many, many occasions. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a matter of fact, we might consider you our resident uh, African uh, scholar, <laughs> giving us that yeah. kind of information in reference to Africa. Yeah, but I think, Dr. Madhu, uh, the topic that we're dealing with today uh, is a very, very unusual topic. And I think that in a real sense, it's a very, very informative kind of topic mm -hmm. in terms of what is going on in the uh, world of drugs today. And our topic, of course, is the narco uh, states of West Africa. And let's have you start, uh, Dr. Madhu, by uh, giving us uh, sort of an overview in reference to these states in West Africa that you consider to be narco states and how they became narco states. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Henry. It's always a, always a pleasure to be here you know, to discuss some mm -hmm. current issues, you know, concerning the African continent. You know. As you know, this terminology was not coined by me or anybody mm -hmm. else. In fact, the United Nations uh, designated Guinea-Bissau as the first narco state, mm -hmm. you know, because of the incidences of, uh, of drug transshipments in the country, and also because of uh, the institutional support that the drug cartels seem to be getting from the government. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, uh, somebody will ask where is Guinea-Bissau, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, of course, Guinea-Bissau is on the west coast of Africa, uh, formerly a, a Portuguese colony. You know, in Portugal had about three important colonies in Africa that became independent in the 1970s, mm -hmm. Angola, Mozambique, mm -hmm. and Guinea-Bissau. And of the three, really, the the uh, Guinea-Bissau liberation movement was one of the most powerful under the legendary Amilcar Cabral, mm -hmm. who was assassinated, you know, in Conakry by the Portuguese. You know, uh, after his assassination, uh, the Portuguese granted independence to, to Guinea-Bissau mm -hmm. in 1974. His brother, you know, Louis Cabral, became president, but he was overthrown in, in 1980 by uh, General Zao Bernardo Vieira. Mm -hmm. you know. Since 1980, it has been downhill okay. you know, for Guinea-Bissau. Uh, the once promising revolutionary state you know, that Cabral had clearly articulated you know, uh, became you know, a backwater of all sorts. It's a country of about uh, 1.8 million people uh, with the capital in Bissau and several other islands. Initially, the, the liberation movement, you know, uh, combined Guinea-Bissau on the mainland uh, with uh, Cape Verde, an island of Cape Verde. Uh, that was why the liberation organization was called the Party for the Independence of Guinea-Bissau and Cape Verde Islands. Mm -hmm. But when Portugal granted them independence in 74, mm -hmm. uh, the leader of uh, the Cape Verde movement, Aristides Pereira, you know, decided that Cape Verde wanted to be its own independent country, mm -hmm. uh, separate from, from Guinea-Bissau. Mm -hmm. So like I articulated before, from 1980, when General Vieira took over, that country has been very, very, very unstable, very unstable. Mm -hmm. You know, in 1998, there was a civil war you know, that lasted several months. Uh, General Vieira had dismissed the army commander at that time, General Ansumane Mane, mm -hmm. who refused to go. To okay. <laughs> refused to go and then, you know, rallied his own soldiers to mm -hmm. fight back, you know. So there was a bloody civil war, uh, which ended when the Portuguese uh, government uh, decided to intervene and uh, granted asylum to General Vieira to, to, to come to Lisbon and stay, you know, for a while. And since there have been about three, four different governments, but in 2005, General Vieira came back again mm -hmm. and ran for election, you know, and won, you know, the election. But then, since we are in, okay, you know, since 2005, the army commander, General, General 
Dr. Boudou, let, let, let us interrupt right here for our first commercial break, which will allow us, when we come back, to pick up at this exact spot and to go on and to uh, develop this issue in reference to uh, this huge drug cartel that's being developed uh, in uh, West Africa. And, of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. Our community's recovery from the... The topic is the 